Hi guys, first of all, welcome to this course, Design Innovation Methods. My name is Jim Steenbuckers. I will be one of your teachers in the teaching team for this course. And I would like to present to you the case book packed with different interesting business cases today. So let's go ahead and see what we have in store. Um, let's talk a little bit about the case buildup. Uh, the case buildup is as follows. First, I will give you a very, very brief overview of what the organization is about. I will talk to you about their business model, how they make money, or what type of business model shift they have made through. I will talk to you about the problem they solve. So what problem did they initially solve when they entered the market? Talk to you a little bit about the USPs of the organization, about their business strategy, about their future plans, and I will also reveal some of the sources that we have used for this research. So the last business case I want to discuss with you is OpenTable. And according to OpenTable itself, they provide online reservations for more than 60,000 restaurants around the world, and they seat over 1 billion diners a year. So basically OpenTable is uh, a system in which through one click on your telephone, you uh, get a table reservation at one of these 60,000 restaurants uh, around the globe. Um, this is their system and basically um, they have a website, but they also have an app for consumers and they have another app which is meant for uh, the restaurant owner where they can see uh, what their shifts are like, what types of people have reserved through their system. So basically this is their booking system for the restaurant. Um, OpenTable has the largest marketing share when it comes to uh, restaurant reservation apps in the world. You can see that they almost own half of the market share uh, with OpenTable and the OpenTable reservations widget. So the reservations widgets is the widget that is placed on the websites of the 60,000 restaurants uh, that people can make reservation with, but also they can make reservations directly through the OpenTable app. So that's the difference. Well, why were they becoming so popular? Because sometimes when you have to call one of these restaurants where it's always busy, where it's very hard to get a table, it's so not transparent. And people wanted transparency. They didn't want to be on the phone when the restaurant people were lunching or when there was cooks in the kitchen and it took them long to hang up and they had to move to this reservation book, which was still very outdated and pen and paper. So basically this is why Open Table and also all of the other restaurant reservation apps have gotten such a good foothold in the global market. Um, it's a typical SaaS company, software as a service, where they really think about the software in such a good way so that you can also use the software for a lot of other purposes other than only the reservations. But I will tell a little bit more about that later. Um, the business model of OpenTable is quite simple um, because Diners attract restaurants and restaurants attract diners and open table of kind of in the middle where restaurants pay for open table, but consumers so the diners don't pay for open table. But definitely as there are more restaurants attracting more diners and more diners attracting more restaurants, open table is always going to win because the restaurants are going to pay them. And if there's more restaurants, they earn a lot more money. So they take away a pain for the customer they take away a pain for the diner. Where and when should I eat? Because they make it so transparent and easy to book a table. And they take away a problem for the restaurants because they add value. Because restaurants now know how they can serve guests in a better way. Open Table is part of Booking Holdings. And Booking Holdings is the great company behind Booking.com, uh, which was acquired by... Uh, so Open Table was acquired by Booking Holdings in 2014. Um, so I have a little bit more information about Booking Holdings in a few moments. The USPs of Open Table are that they really know their guests. With Open Table, um, you can also do a lot of good relationship management as a restaurant owner. Also, Open Table creates huge demand because they have such a vast dining network, over 1 billion people a year that use their app. So Basically, you want to be part of the open table bubble. You want to be part of the open table space because they have such a good network with people using the app every day. And also, um, 
the booking holdings as a company itself as a holding wants to take care of the total customer journey but also open table takes care of the total customer journey of a restaurant reservation being all in because you can also pay through open table you can reserve through open table you can look at menus through open table you can order food through open table so you can basically do a lot of these steps that you normally might need other apps for this is why they are so successful at harnessing the power of apis um, open table is also not only a reservation app but it's also a marketing tool and this is something they achieved uh, by acquiring venga uh, which is a software for a restaurant customer journeys where you can see that within this software um, basically what they can do with the software is that they can uh, create a very in-depth profile of the type of guest that has reserved they can also recognize guests and they also take data from facebook and from linkedin to show the restaurant owner oh this guest is coming to your restaurant tonight again and he was also here last month and the week before. So it might be a VIP uh, right now. So uh, this is what they ordered. Last time he ordered a very expensive bottle of wine. So you might want to try uh, to let them do that again. So this is a real strength of Open Table. They basically know everything about this uh, Lord Winston guest here. So that's what they tried to achieve uh, by acquiring Venga. So in open table, basically connection is key because they also connect to a lot of different types of other apps, not only uh, from the booking holdings, but also from their other partners like uh, TripAdvisor, like Eater, like Google, like Facebook and Apple. They really connect with these maps to show some of the restaurants. They know where you are at the point. Uh, they also are able to connect your friends so you can connect to your friends to tell them where you're gonna eat and maybe invite them to the same table. Um, Eater is and TripAdvisor are then these uh, sites where you can leave reviews. So all of these reviews from OpenTable are also loaded into TripAdvisor so that they both interact with each other and create a larger network. Basically, OpenTable is all about creating this large network, this large bubble that people want to be part of. As the CEO of Booking Holdings and also the CEO of Booking.com said, when I go traveling in a city, I don't generally know what those restaurants are, which ones I should use or not. And absolutely, we would be able to do something between the power of open table, the power of a hotel brands, and be able to do it better for the customer. So basically what he's trying to say is that with this group, with this uh, booking holdings group, which used to be called the Priceline group, is there is something that they want to do, which is they want to dominate the whole customer journey of travel. They want to create the 360 degrees personalized customer travel experience from basically getting an idea of where do I want to travel to, to doing research, to doing a booking, to booking a hotel, booking a flight, to booking some restaurants, um, to leaving some reviews, to receiving newsletters about these places or about the city you're going to to some even aftercare in terms of a post day. How do they do it? They do it with the power of AI and merger and acquisition. With the power of AI, basically because they are so keen at all of these integrations from different APIs, they know exactly what you are looking for when you're on one of their websites. So they have created a profile from you and they basically change the appearance of their websites or of their apps based on your preferences, based on what you click most on. So that's what they do with AI. But also in terms of merger and acquisition, if they don't have uh, one of these companies in their portfolio, they acquire one of these companies to make sure that they expand their reach. One of the latest companies they acquired is a company with which you can rent holiday property, not a hotel room, but an actual house. So they want to compete with Airbnb. Each second, 11 tables are reserved through Open Table, coming from 2080 data. And then also in the Open Table case, we also have a source list over here that you can consult if you want to know a little bit more about some of these things that we have done the research with.